Radio V. Radio in TV. Radio in TV. Inside Metal Show on T Radio V with my guest Snoo. What's going on, Snoo? <laughs> Hi, Bob. The guys in Snoo, five piece band featuring the one and only thirsty man, Leonard Spickle. Good guitar. afternoon, Uncle Bobbo. What is going on, Thirsty? It's good Meister. to be aboard. Thank you. Yes, I've known Thirsty One since he stepped foot in California back in 1986. A small boy. Bob picked me up hitchhiking when I was eight. <laughs> and we've been, and he's been calling me Uncle, uh, Uncle, Uncle Bobbo ever since. Uncle Bobbo ever since, that's right. Very, very creepy. Leonard was a guitarist in Eden, the band I managed back in the 80s. That is and, correct. Uh, now in Snoo. Now with the Snoo, you bet. That's right. Drummer, Marco. Hey, everybody. Just simply Marco. What's going hey. on? How's it going, folks? Yeah, sharing the mic there. Marco, also a Snoodio owner or studio owner. So any of you artists there looking for a place to record or rehearse, we're going to get into that. He's got a killer studio out in Burbank. Great producer, engineer. And Curtis Don Vito, returning yeah. guest here on uh, T here Radio before. V. Yeah, I believe you have. I believe I am. As a, uh, uh, as many people remember, Curtis edited the Inside Metal That's movie right. right behind you. That's right. There you yeah. go. Well, Inside yeah. Curtis. Metal, Which Pioneers of L.A. Epic movie. Yes. yes so uh, we got Curtis back. Yeah. Which this again, time we're going to uh, talk about Snoo. Which, uh, of course, yes. I'm in. Yes, in the next that's in, right. the next in the next episode. That's right. That's right. That's right. We got to we got to mention. Got to make that plug. The second You'll be movie in or with the, uh, the third installment, however you want to count it. I don't know. Yes. It, right. uh, well, we're going to call the second movie "L.A. Metal Scene Explodes." You'll I'm be like with the second coming with Mike Stone, Jacques Mike Stone, Stone who right. was a Jacques. singer in Eden before he joined Queensrÿche and all those other numerous bands. But let's get to the other guys and Snoo Kelly McGee. Hi. On base, I guess the newest member, right? Yes, yeah. And oh, many of you that. might remember Kelly. You played a Warrior for a little yeah, while. Warrior. You played with uh, I did. a lot of different bands, yeah. man. Warrior, yeah. of course. Bob. Joe Floyd, yes. another co-producer of the Inside Metal movie, who yes. uh, many of you guys know as the uh, founder of the great Funny L.A. band Warrior. Yeah, yeah, we never knew each other prior to that, and here it all just kind of uh, yeah. you know, comes together. And we don't want to forget yes. guitarist extraordinaire Mr. Andy Lux. Hi, Bob. Glad to be here. Isn't that cool that he's actually from Luxembourg and his yeah. name, nice. last name just happens to be Lux? I you mean, that's, that's well, very soon. It's, mm. it's, I mean, if you were from Budapest, it just wouldn't work. It'd be, it'd be <laughs> Andy <laughs> Buddha. <laughs> it'd be Andy Buddha. <laughs> well, cool. The guys in Snoo. Um, so you guys are working on a new record. You, you guys want? got three albums. The cool thing about Snoo, I got to uh, first off tell anyone not familiar with Snoo, they've got three great albums out. Total self-contained band, which is pretty awesome in this day and age do all their recordings themselves have their own record label have their own merchandise they book their own shows they've been all over doing rocklahoma doing uh, all across the u.s you guys have played and uh, everything on your own which is uh, pretty admirable and pretty awesome yeah, when you put it all together like that it Sounds very tiring. Yeah, well, that's that's probably I don't, why I don't you know sound. How we do it. That's why he probably sounds so beat up there, Curtis. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, good stuff, and you got a new record coming out. The yeah, new we're, Snoo. We're uh, in the middle of uh, recording fa- the next one. Fact, since uh, Jake might have it set up, if you were able oh, to get that wait, new wait. track, can huh? we do a little, a little taste let's of it? Let's give a lick, you know. Oh, are you running the show now, huh? Play, okay. Look, see, this is right got to run the show. All right, all right. Pounding them, you know. Okay. Come on. All right, well, let's show some of the... Uh, it's it's let's, very telling. Let's do it's, this. This is, this is what kind of... <laughs> let's show some of <laughs> the Snoo's acting ability. How about well, getting that clip of acting. Leonard Leonard Spickle and uh, Andy Lux <laughs> oh, doing a, their He's little skit? Here, whoa. Oh, Here we go. There's a fucking whistle. <laughs> nothing. No. <laughs> oh, nothing. I mean, shit. See what I pulled yeah. up from YouTube? He curses. Yeah? But never around children. Oh. No criminal record? Yeah. No parking tickets, for Christ's sake. Nothing. No bad habits, even. Oh. Sex, yeah. But man is a sexual being. Yeah. Fucking Darwinian. Oh. Can't do shit about that, Jack. No. Hell, I wouldn't want to. No, of course not. 
I, I'm not advocating celibacy. Hope not. It'd be the end of fucking human race. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask why I found that, but found that up on YouTube. There you go. Accurate. Nice. Leonard Thank Spickle you. and Thank Andy Lux. Nice. That's, see, there's your when We're not uh, debut out rocking there. and rolling. We're... Uh, we're working the union. Yeah, <laughs> when you're out, not absolutely. Out. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Big debut. It, it all yeah. it's it is Hollywood, right? You do what you can. <laughs> Honing their craft. Honing our craft. Have you seen that before? I have seen that. Yeah. <laughs> have you? What do you mean? I was in it. Of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I was there. Oh, man, yes. <laughs> so anyone Every that wants to I call in, we are taking callers. Eight five five eight seven eight four six five two. Phone lines are open. No ex-wives or drug dealers. Uh, those wow. are the best callers. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> we need somebody to spark we'll take, up the we'll, show whoever here. Whoever wants to call in, we'll, uh, you know. So you talk know. about the uh, the uh, new uh, stuff and uh, the what new the, stuff. the new snoo. The new snoo is uh, I don't know what should we say. Should we say anything? Just leave them in suspense. Huh? Now we've been. We're overdue for the next record, as our fans have been telling us for quite some time. When's the new stuff coming out? But uh, what we've been taking time building the studio, mm. the snoodio. Right. And Beautiful studio. putting a lot of effort into that and getting the sounds that we want. And, you know, so we're, we're doing it differently this time. We talk about self-contained. I mean, now we're totally self-contained. Yeah, awesome. And you yeah. had a big party the, uh, last week with the, the uh, bike uh, the yep. uh, yeah. motorcycle yeah, the company. Rally in the, alley. Right. the ra rally in the alley. Yeah, yeah. the, the big first party. rally in the alley. And we're going to so. be doing a big inside metal party, which we're going to be making an announcement very soon coming up at the studio. I yes. think the biggest thing about the new record is uh, the band has gone from a one guitar band, which well, has been an amazing three records with one guitar with absolutely. Andy. Absolutely. To now a two guitar band. Yep, Leonard used with to play myself bass. joining in on guitar. Right. Yes. And uh, we'll leave it to Speckle to talk about that. Yeah. It was it was his idea. Yes. It was his coercion. I think it was my idea. That because yeah. he was playing bass for us. Yeah, yeah. I originally I hired in as as the bass yeah. player for a tour about two years ago, and, uh, and once he got we, to the point where he said, "I don't want to play bass anymore." Well, we we were out on the road, and I'm, I'm a guitar player, and and it, it just came to me that this is a two guitar band. Mm. And uh, yeah, we I didn't think put up a fight. It's a little bit heavier, maybe. Than yeah, much. Than I've the seen first you guys rehearse records. as a two two guitar yeah, band. It and so uh, I guess we'll come back song. after the break and talk more about that. Oh, we got a phone oh, call. call. That's what it oh, is. Go oh, ahead, listener. You're on the air with hey, Snoo. Hey, Mark and Mark or Curtis. You know who this is? Who is this? Ooh. Oh no! You said you were going to call, and you actually you said no ex-wives. <laughs> So I want to know when I get to jam with you guys now that I'm a drummer. That's right, you're a drummer. Do we know? Is this, this like is? mystery guest? Huh? What is this? This is the mystery guest. Yeah, the mystery guest. Oh, all right. No, well, Kurt, no, this is Eddie Landry. Should, uh, should we give your name? Eddie Landry. Eddie. Oh, a girl named Eddie. No, you guys know who I am. Come on, I just have a little bit of a cold. But, well, do you have a question um, for Snoo? It's Heidi. I do. I want to know when you're play going. On, mm. I want to know when you're going on tour next, so I can go with you. Oh, okay. You're gonna have to yeah. submit a picture first, huh? <laughs> if you want oh, to tour with Snoo. No, Heidi. No, no Heidi. seriously, <laughs> I want to go on tour with oh, yeah. you. It sounds yeah. like fun when you guys All right. are going. Well, so you got to submit a demo first and a photo and, and a photo, preferably and a, photo. a bikini. Yes, and uh, you know you got oh, to be willing to submit a few photos. qualifications. Okay. She has blackmail Risk photos. Hang up, hang up quick. That's right. <laughs> That's right. I think we might have to just let her do this. Uh, no, well, she does know a few things. Again. So when is uh, the next tour? You got some said you're going to wait till the record comes out, right? The new record. Then are we done with that call? Road? I guess. Bye, Heidi. I mean, thanks for calling in. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd she go? <laughs> you got any plans for a tour so far? Or you're going to wait till right the new now. Release? We're just we're just concentrating on the next album. Right on. You know, know, we did a bunch of shows this year. We did Snoo Fest. I heard about it back in May. Yeah, they uh, we did have Snoo uh, Fest just for us, and it was our our night, our big night in Albuquerque. Well, we had well, a DC Four uh, tour lined up, I think, but I think I could cancel maybe till the well, first of the I don't year. Know if, but if we can announce that, oh, it's oh. canceled to the first of the year. Is the erase, night. erase, <laughs> sort of <left laughs> postpone is Postpone. the word. <laughs> so listen, we got this uh, this new video lined up for a uh, pull my stinger. We'll uh, 
uh, play that and lead that out to the break. Tell us about the uh, this uh, video that's been getting a lot of attention for Snoo. This was actually from the first album, right? Pull or the second album? No. Pull my third album. Second. Third album. Okay, that's yes. how much I know. The uh, mm-hmm. We Do What We Want CD. Yeah. Yeah. Pull right. my stinger. Great well, video. You should probably play the video and then we will tell you. I don't think it. nothing needs to be said about yeah. this. Go ahead and play the video there, Jay. I'm Laura Samoza. I'm Sterling Gardner. And we are Between the Sheets every Monday here, 3 p.m., tradiov.com. Tradiov. That's right. It's Tradiov. Radio in TV. <laughs> what is that face? <laughs> she wants to see our hands. That's Radio in TV. Wah, 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 wah. We're not a couple. <laughs> we 
had such a great metal scene in LA in the early 80s. It really was an amazing time to be here. And you'd go up the Sunset Boulevard and it was just packed. It was like Mardi Gras, heavy metal Mardi Gras. Our dressing room at the Roxy after we played. I'm looking around and there's Vince Neil passed out in the corner in a pile of his own puke. Yep, we're in Hollywood. <laughs> we ain't in Alaska anymore. <laughs> epicenter of metal is now happening in, in Los Angeles. The UK press was particularly excited by what was going on in the LA and California and in America in general by the early 80s because new wave of British heavy metal pretty much ran out of steam. At that time there was so much good metal. You know, it was so good because it was so genuine. I mean, you could feel it. It was electric. The air was filled with something that was going to happen. At first, they were friendly and hanging out and fun, all fun and games. Then it became competition. The LA scene was so crowded with musicians, and everybody was getting to know each other. They all started sounding similar to each other because they were hanging out at each other's rehearsal sessions. kind of got polarized and you know they're like you're either part of this group or you're part of that group. Everybody had their own take on on this new form of music. I don't know what I'm going to do. There's no way if that guy is the new guitar hero that any, any of us can keep up. Keep fighting. It's just like getting a deal was just the beginning. By the, the time of the early 80s it was very very hard to get shows if you were a heavy metal band or hard rock band. We did some shows over that summer opening for Armored Saint uh, and, and we felt that if we could kind of ride their coattails maybe there would be hope. We were in the dressing room next to them and that's the we heard them discussing their whole thing about they thought they were too heavy for LA and they need to move to San Francisco. You know, we definitely had a, a bit of a, of, a, of a kind of an identity <laughs> issue at the time with just not belonging anywhere. You know, we were just outcasts. I mean, we were all on the verge of being homeless. The music is the music of the wild and the young. Inside Metal Show on T Radio V. What you just saw was the uh, trailer to our second feature film, uh, the follow up to uh, Pioneers of LA Hard Rock and Metal. The poster just fell there, I see. The uh, uh, title is called The LA Metal Scene Explodes, and that will be coming out hopefully uh, by the end of the year. We'll be doing a few uh, select screenings and then out on DVD the first of the new year. So, uh, something to look forward to. We'll be doing a big. Big release screening, premiere screening at a soon-to-be-named uh, Hollywood theater. And we're also going to be doing a uh, little pre-party at the Studio, yeah, which uh, will yeah, also nice. be uh, uh, it's still, still to be it, announced. Let's make it happen. What's hold up? We're going to do Come it. Come on, we, brother. We're doing it. We're, we're doing ready. it. And what you heard as the intro was uh, Leonard's old band, Eden, playing for correct. the uh, demo lost, tape, Mr. Lost, lost in the Race. Lost in the Race. 1987, 1987 demo. 1987, Eden. With Mike Jacques Stone on Mike lead Stone vocals. on lead vocals. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Actually, that was released on... Uh, a high voltage high records. voltage records 2003 wasn't it the something German like that? label the yes, German they, label that was uh, as bonus tracks on the yeah uh, they Eden re album. released the Eden first Eden record and uh, all the stuff we recorded for the second record that never got released and it was quite a yeah. quite a cool uh, package they put together yeah that is correct but we are, right times. now are talking about Snoo that's right the band here in the studio and we're gonna be taking callers in fact any callers that call in you might have to get Heidi a shirt any callers that call in <laughs> we'll get a free shirt is that she's got a shirt she's we'll give away shirt. to the Don't you? to the next caller you do. whoever's you the next caller you. that calls in 
Eight five five. Oh, we already got a call. We do. Oh, look We've at that! Somebody just nice. scored a Snoo shirt. You are talking to Snoo. Hi, how's it going? My name is Sebastian. Hello. How Hello. are you guys? Hi. Good. Um, I was just wondering, um, who's the biggest guy in the band? <laughs> oh, hi, guys. Come on, guys. Get your head out of the gutter. All uh-huh, right. Uh-huh. Let's uh-huh. see. Show it, fellas. Hi, Sebastian. Can we do that? Uh, McGee's uh, probably the tallest. Uh, He's uh, about... How tall are you, I McGee? I don't think they're thinking uh, that yeah. size. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. See, this is your fans, man. Got to please your fans. These, these are the kind of people know. who listen to Snoop. That's right. I thought <laughs> well, it's like, you know... Well, we do a, what we at, want, so do what they want. Well, that's it exactly. <laughs> take we a look at the want, microphone. So, you know, you get a, <laughs> <laughs> here we go. This is now about the average the size right here. Just look at the mic. There it is. Oh, my <laughs> God. Just for your uh, pleasure, <laughs> Sebastian. Do you have a serious question? <laughs> is this Sebastian Bach, by chance? Um, is you know, I, I wanted fans? to know, Lux I, Lux, I thought it was brilliant that you featured your daughter in that video. Oh, is that your daughter or the pool bus digger? No. <laughs> no, I think you got that Where's wrong. The, Sorry. <laughs> Where is this going? What is yeah, this leading to? This is... Uh... All right, Sebastian. <laughs> thanks for calling. I think there's another thanks call so long, coming man. in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there another call coming in? <laughs> 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 All right. Next. Uh, speaking about that video... You said that was him in the booth, wasn't it? Was that? Oh, that's, that was Jay. Yeah, 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 there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Jake is Thanks for your contribution says, uh, to the show. Yes. That so um, that uh, that uh, video, how'd you coerce the uh, girl to pour honey? Uh, ooh. You know, she was, uh, we actually called, God, I don't know, a couple dozen girls. You could actually said put no. the microphone or the headphones uh, on your head if you like. That's why they call them headphones. Yeah, I know. But, you know, <laughs> I'd rather not. In true singer I can, style. I can hear you guys You got to do the Ian fine. Gillen thing. I'll put them on for callers. Anyway. <laughs> Yeah, no, we called like two dozen girls and they all said, you know, yeah, I'd love to be in your video. And they said, we want you to pour honey all over yourself. You want me to do what? Yeah, no, never None of them wanted again. to do yeah. it. Yeah. Ha ha. We finally got, you know, we, we talked to uh, a club promo- owner. What, what? The promoter at the, the club at, at some place in North Hollywood at the club. The other door. Yeah. The guy from the other door. I forgot I his name that. right he now. He said, I got, I got just a girl for you. Yeah. yeah. So he gave me her number, and I called her up. She says, yeah, whatever you want. Wow. I told her, you know, about the honey. She and says, then yeah, did you say, care. we do what we want. Yeah. <laughs> and she showed up, and she was just all nonchalant. Wow. She's like, here's a gallon of honey. So okay. And she just poured it over herself, you know, total pro. Nice. That's didn't talent. Phase her one That's bit. That's talent. That is talent. That is talent. That's talent. Yeah. Any other girls out there that want to pour honey all over their body and be in the next new video? Let us, well, we already got a caller. Maybe they. Uh, maybe you got another video vixen Hello? on the line. Hello. Hello. You're on the air with Snoo. Hi, Snoo. How is everyone? Wonderful. Cool. See, Snoo always gets all the female callers and I the know. gay callers, well, Sebastian. Yeah. But you know, <laughs> yeah, you know. And Sebastian. And I don't know who that fool was. Who is this? Anyway, I just wanted to say... I really like that black T-shirt with the green on it, and I was wondering when you guys were coming out to Boston. Yeah, we know who this play. is. Uh, without oh. further ado, uh-huh. Ravel. Wow, that sounds Gravel. like the name yeah. of a great Gravel. punk band out of Boston. Awesome, uh, all-female punk band out of Boston. Uh, a lot of talent, up and yeah. coming. Uh, we're sort band, of gravel. moving away from the subject at is, hand, is, and we're giving it away to Gravel. But that's an okay. Male because, band? Uh, uh, what was we that? do consider ourselves an all male band. We, an all male band. <laughs> Sometimes we question that, but for the most part, correct. Where yeah. are you calling from, caller? I'm calling from the green room. Yes, <laughs> you are. Oh. <laughs> well, why don't you come in and uh, pay a visit? Show your face. face. Come on. <laughs> come on in Should through the door and show your come face. On, come, come on, come on in. in. Give Gravel some plugs. Come on. There fame. you go. There it Victoria is. Spickle, the lead, lead singer, singer for the punk band Gravel. Give it up. <laughs> so you want to give us a little demonstration on the mic? Hello. There, Victoria. Come on. Hello. Up. Hello, Boston. This is my dad. Uh-huh. <laughs> so once gravel chip opening. Chip off the old block there. Well, plug your show with you DOA. You're doing yeah. a show with DOA. Well, yeah, yeah get this is your big shot. Uh, we're playing a show at Kodo in Salem, Massachusetts, with DOA on September 23rd. All right. And it's cool. going to be bitchin'. That is. I, you got to love a young girl bitchin'. using the term bitchin'. Yeah. That's such an <laughs> 80s term. Not too many youngsters use that anymore. I have, I have a great cool. story about her. Uh, one of my favorite guitars in my collection, or one of her favorite guitars, is my custom Gibson Les Paul I Zach Wilde Bullseye. 
So I thought, being a cool dad, I'll give it to my daughter. That is first, a thing cool out daughter. Her, first thing out of her mouth is, can I paint it? <laughs> <laughs> no. How punk rock is that? Did That's you paint punk it rock. pink? That's punk rock. <laughs> That's totally punk rock. Yeah. Well, there you go. Victoria, Victoria. go support her band. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you give out a website for your band, Gravel? Yeah, what is it? Your yeah. website? Oh, yeah. Uh, gravelmusic.bandcamp.com. Can you make it any simpler than that? We have Facebook and Instagram, too. Facebook and Instagram. Gravel. Gravel Gravel. music at uh, Day Camp. Band Band Camp. 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 Like one time at Band Camp. (laughs) Yeah. Dot com. There you go. Give it up for Victoria. Victoria. All right. All right. Let's see uh, what stuff we got for uh, Snoo. You got any links there we could throw up? I don't know what's going on. You know, I did yeah, want to talk about, we were talking earlier about uh, Snoo oh, as, a, as a four-piece band and, uh, and amazing four-piece band. band. Now, And, really? you know, when you get a chance to work with someone like Kelly McGee on bass, Stop. Yes. you yeah. add a second guitar I got player. To, I got to there see go. these There's guys new website there. as a four-piece. I got to s- go see them. Mm-hmm. You know, I stopped playing in 19, what, 90 with... Joe, and then the uh, yeah. over the next 22, 23 years, I went to like two concerts, and I heard this band, and I had to see them. Mm. I heard the <laughs> studio stuff, and I was blown away by the singer. I was like, "This, who is this guy? I thought they were doctoring the tapes. I thought there was no way that he could sing what he was doing in the studio live. I thought maybe he did the, f- the first verse one week, and then a couple weeks later, he did the second <laughs> verse, <laughs> you know, because he was going full tilt. Oh, yeah. And then so I found some stuff they did on, on YouTube live that humbled me again. You know, they had done in New York. You guys played about an hour and a half. Yeah. And it was just full tilt. And I, and I still didn't believe it. So <laughs> they were playing down in Santa Ana. And I got off my backside and drove down to watch it. I saw these four guys here play. Lenny was on bass. And, it, and he, he did it again. It's Curtis. And yeah. the band was great. And it was just I just loved, loved it from, from the moment I saw it till, till I finally got to see you guys live. It was uh, just amazing. In fact, I we, think we, we got a live, we a, live, them. a live clip in the studio, in the uh-huh. studio of a rock and roll outlaw. Do we have that uh, ready? Something that uh, was recorded live in the studio. This right. was from this the uh, live at the studio episode. Correct? That is correct. Yes. Yeah, yeah, we should yes. talk about that as well. Is this the one yes. you were on? No, no I think this was, was another no, one. This, this is a different uh, one. But it's got. But yeah, we had we had Bob. That's Arsh. right. Live, live in the studio. studio. With, you can find on the snoo. The Snoo YouTube channel. The yeah, Snoo you YouTube channel. Yeah, well, well, we got the, let's do the uh, Rock and Roll Outlaw, yeah. which was actually from that. I'll yeah. put up a clip. Yeah. Here it is. I love the way you slow it down. There you go, some live in the snoodio with Snoo doing the Rose Tattoo classic, Rock yeah. and Roll Outlaw. What a killer song. I remember when that album came out in 78, man, yeah. that Angry Anderson. And you just, oh, yeah. I mean, you sound a lot, you sound like Angry Anderson meets <laughs> Dan Cafferty meets Brian Johnson. You okay. totally got that 70s okay. classic. Well, yeah, crowd. just that, that, that gritty vocal style is mm-hmm. what I've always loved. That know? must have been your big influences of when you were younger, huh? But who were some of your major Yeah, well, yeah Dan McCaffrey, definitely. I mean, Nazareth, the greatest a, raspy voice ever. One of the most underrated you know, singers ever. Yeah, Absolutely. I love that guy. Yes. You know, and, and Steve Marriott. 
course, humble yeah. pie. Yeah. I mean, he's got the growl and the wail. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, all those kind of guys. Great stuff. Who was that on? You had a special guest on guitar. Yeah, on that it was episode. Brian Marshak from uh, a local band uh, called Roof, Rooftop Revolutionaries. Oh, very cool. Yeah, they really yeah, did. it's a cool. If you check yeah. it out, go uh, to uh, the uh, Snoo channel on uh, YouTube. They have a live in the Snooty on. They have just different guests uh, on there. We're gonna go into a break right now. It looks like. And uh, we're going to come back with Snoo in about 10 minutes. Talk about the new record. Talk about uh, some of the upcoming shows you guys got going on. I know you have a couple local shows, I believe, that are in the works. And uh, we'll be back with Snoo in two minutes. T-Radio V Inside Metal. This is Casey Abrams from American Idol, and you are watching T Radio V. That was too corny. I don't. Want to... I love it. T Radio V. What did you play opposite Andy and Eric? Do you remember? Uh, Andy and I worked as uh, two employees at a network. Okay. Oh, you're and forgetting the other I, thing. I played. I played. I played a news anchor, and he played a reporter. Okay, but the other thing you did, the thing you did on the Andy Dick show, who did you play to Andy? Oh, uh, is, is that going play my sister? You played his wife, Denise. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you played his wife. Yeah. So what's wrong with that, Eliza? Yeah. Nothing's wrong with it. He's got it's a great just, range as an actor. It, you know? Yeah, it just was funny. Encounters with Eric and Eliza Roberts, Wednesdays from 2 to 4 p.m. on T Radio V. What's up? This is Josh Vietti, and you're watching T Radio V. Show T Radio V. All right, what band is this? Speaking of ACDC style bands. Since we're not running the contest. <laughs> All right, they have a big connection with ACDC, especially now. New wave of British heavy metal band that came out in that era. The guitar player is now playing. Stevie Young. Stevie the Young. Nephew oh, of what Malcolm. band was he in? Starfighters. Star you don't remember the song Alley Cat Blues? Got a little bit of airplay. Came out. I believe this was the first album ever to come out on Jive Records, which ended up turning into a pop label with like NSYNC yeah, yeah, and Backstreet Boys and Britney Spears. Yeah. But I believe this was the first Jive. Huh. Album, The Starfighters. Good stuff. Good stuff Good. there. So, back Maybe with the guys in Snoo. Why don't you introduce yourselves, starting with Leonard. Did we already do that? Well, I think we did that, but you know, people uh, might just be tuning since you in did right bring now. that up, and this is T Radio V. Yes. You know, I T went to radio elementary radio. school with Andy no, Dick. Radio and oh. Well. And Andy, if you're listening, <laughs> you should put me on your show. <laughs> As the mystery we, guest. We could talk we about could. grammar school. And growing well, up in Monroe, Pennsylvania. Why don't you talk, why don't you talk about uh, some of the uh, the stuff that Andy Dick used to do in grammar school? Well, that's right. You know Andy Dick. Well, you know, I, I mentioned that who called school. in earlier. That was Andy Dick. You think, you think that, that was, was Andy, Andy Dick? calling in about our weenies? Sebastian. Yeah. 
I don't know. Was it Jake? <laughs> uh, you know, so it was give a long us some gossip ago. about you know, Andy. I can't really Dick, gossip huh? about it. You know, yeah. he's uh, he's Andy Dick. He was probably the same in uh, so what age grammar is school this as he was like uh, as he is now. 11, 12? Uh, what, you know, fifth, sixth, seventh grade. Yeah, yeah. How old 11, are you then? 11, 12. Oh, yeah, it's 10, yeah, 11. 10, 11, Something somewhere like in there. Yeah. Wow. Actually, I do have a funny story. We were, uh, it was like our last week of elementary school, and we were going into junior high school. Uh, so the teachers all sat us down and talked about, you know, drugs and what to expect in junior high. And I remember Andy jumping up and saying, are they going to stick us with needles? <laughs> so I don't know if that was a pre precursor <laughs> to what was to come. <laughs> I don't know if he was hoping they were or he was actually afraid. Yeah. I mean, I'm not sure what, what that's all about. But well, let, let, let's I'm talk sure to Andy that? and we'll find out the truth. Well, there you uh, go. <laughs> I don't, does he still have his show on here? He does still ah, do the show. Well, there you go. Andy Dick. Well, Andy, listening. let's have a beer <laughs> and talk about old times. Very cool. So right. last segment here. This is the last segment, right, Jake? So last we got the uh, three new albums. Yeah. Snoo You, their debut. Snoo You. And What's It To Ya? the last this, one. This was the last one. And this was the, the one in the, the middle. The second one. Yeah. Yeah. We do what we want. And the third one coming out. The fourth one. The fourth the one, one that I could two, count. Three, I four. Yeah, gotcha. Very good, very good. <laughs> fourth okay, one coming yeah, out we're working on by the, the end one. of the year. Um, or maybe. Well, it's probably not by the end of the year. Next but yeah, year, we do have a little early little the plan. We're going to give some uh, an exclusive here, well, right? A T Radio V exclusive. It's well, got a little, sort of little bit heavier, too. Here. Let's do it. Can we do this? It's got a little Lenny Let's influence. Let's do it. We got it. Guitar. I think. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You're guy. You've got to build it up. Go ahead. Do your thing. You know, we usually don't release rough mixes no, or demo no, versions, no, but, you know. But you do for me. For in my in this show, case, I think we can go ahead and do it. Okay, let's. I will just play like 30 seconds. We got people watching here who've been begging us. When's the song coming out? I made the mistake of telling people. A couple date. of months ago, <laughs> that we were going to release the new single. <laughs> and when we, we went to Vegas. We and when we went to Vegas, Vegas, we did play it live yeah, on stage, it, but right. we didn't actually release the song. Yeah. Um, we've got a demo version of it. Okay. <laughs> you guys, Jamie and Cassie, and you guys know who. You just are, play the damn song already. We're going to give you a on. taste. Just the fans in Vegas just love this. this much. Right, let's play it's a, it's play just the a demo Jake. version of it. It's <laughs> not what's going to be released. Yeah, all right. We're just get the point. <laughs> Oh, that's yeah. it. <laughs> that's all you got. Oh, man. Good work, Jake. That was the yeah. big tease. That is called the big tease. The, the juice power of or just power. The juice of power. The juice yeah, of power. see, now you even get the title. We've been keep holding that back, too. Well, there We're you giving go. it all away here. But just this much. Just a little so. teaser. Yeah. On the next show, we'll play you another 15 seconds. <laughs> and the next show after that, another 15 seconds. But, uh, that's yeah. how Snoo rolls. The, the whole <laughs> thing, and then you got to buy all the parts. Of but great intro, man. I love it. I mean, I've, I've uh -huh. actually heard the whole song. It's it's a very good song. It's it's, uh, it's a little taste of the new direction. Don't be snoo. jealous, it's, Bob. You yeah. know, <laughs> it's a pretty no, good it's, it's a mean, pretty good time to be a uh, part of Snoo right it's now. It's definitely, yeah. I think, a step above your last three records. I this mean, is a very good very time catchy. to be uh, yeah, a part of the Snoo. Yes, yeah, definitely <laughs> anthem metal. You know, yeah. anthem, anthem hard rock. Well, that's what happens when you add this guy and this guy to the mix. That's right, man. So talk Are about Warrior. Did you actually go out? That was kind of when Joe, was Perry in the band with you? <laughs> no, or? Perry was not. You know, we were going to be the second uh, car incarnation of Warrior. Right. So Perry had joined Steve Stevens. Oh, the Atomic The bass Globals, player yeah. Bruce had joined Lou Graham. Oh, wow. So they, they were gone. And then... Uh, and so we Joe, know what happened to the old drummer. Yeah, there was maybe two or three years out from Fighting for the Earth. And then Joe wanted to put a, a new band together. And then so my singer of the band i was in his name was sean he got with joe and then he called me and then i got in and then we went through a series of drummers we were together about three and a half years wow at uh, the last two years we had nick menza oh that's right was yeah. the drummer From and Megadeth, of course so we've you know, had it was good times show. oh have you yeah good, yeah and yeah. with this new band with uh, uh, uh chris polin and um um james lomenzo yeah. right yeah. yeah okay so they're doing that project then eh? yeah. yeah yeah that was cool yeah it's uh good times Absolutely. Yeah, Joe's a good guy. Great yeah. player. Oh, Joe's amazing. Yeah. And that he's chapter, you know, was interesting back music back in that time. The whole measure of the man back then was not whether so much you could play, 
but whether you could play where you were so high or stoned that you couldn't <laughs> pass a field sobriety test. This was 90 and, and what? No, this is 86 to 89. Oh, this is still that. Yeah. And that was when the second, because wasn't that still a Fighting for the Earth was going on? Or? No, Fighting for the Earth was prior to that. In wow. fact, we renamed the band. We called Joe, uh, we did one gig under the name Warrior, and then he decided he wanted to call it Cold Fire. I remember that, yeah, yeah. So we went under the name Cold Fire, and um, most of the Warrior fans thought we were heretics and what we were doing was blasphemous. They, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was a whole departure, you know, there was no you know harmonizing guitars yeah, or yeah. searing melodies you know it was just just right up in your grill the entire time it was very physical it was raw and right you know it was it was fun and it was crushingly loud yeah we hurt people yeah. we would play like the fm station i don't <laughs> have you ever been in there and oh yeah many you know that l-shaped room they had yeah, and yeah. they'd start off in front of us and you could see people were doubling over and they were well, that could you be know, why Joe has a bit to, of a hearing problem. I think so, yeah. <laughs> and he'd, they'd all move over to the right, and he'd talk to people after the show, and they're yeah. like, dude, I can't hear. And you're like, well, did you like it? They go, I loved it. <laughs> and they're like, you know, I've sick to deaf, my stomach, you know, but awesome. I loved it, you know. And it was strange, you know. It was, it was So I was like, we're hurting you, but you enjoy this. They're like, yes. So, <laughs> so we kept on doing it. No, the singer we had always brought up his own PA. He was never happy with the house PA, so he, he would bring in a 10 to 12,000 watt PA system. Wow. Every time that band And they would let you do that. They'd let and they you would, yeah. It, that, oh, he so was very, very assertive, I, yeah. I should say. He, he wouldn't go on without it. Wow. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> well, well, I, old I in the 80s. Ever, yeah. I yeah. don't yeah. think I ever caught uh, Cold Fire then. I, I saw Warrior a few times, but I yeah. remember as Cold Fire, I think I had the demo somewhere. You nice. guys did, yeah, at the old Silver Cloud Studio. The original Cloud, yeah. Yeah. Lenny yeah. was over at the Cloud originally, too. The I have been by the Cloud, yeah, mm -hmm. back well, when Mike Stone, uh, Mike Stone was working with, there yeah, with. Yeah, uh, Mike, Joe. Were you working with Mike Stone when I he was in? in? No. That was one of uh, no. Mike Stone's several bands. Was that Cold Fire then? or was No, it no, Cold? we only yeah. had one singer in Cold okay. Fire. It was just I think it was just, yeah, just solo stuff, Joe. and yeah, I was playing with Piper, and we stopped by there. Randy and I stopped in with Animal. That's right, right. Everybody had stopped by the Cloud back in the day. Yeah, we all stopped by the Cloud to say hello. Yeah, that was the big rock and roll studio in the day. Joe Floyd, yeah. if you're out there, hey, Joe's designing a brand new guitar too. He's working with yes, I've Grover heard. Jackson and, and some some major cool. people designing a cool. supposedly a pretty awesome new. Um, it's kind of a whole new beginning kind of of, of nice. uh, this guitar. So yeah, yeah. so it's it's going to be pretty cool. I'm, I haven't even seen uh, the outline yet, but uh, it's got some good good people behind them, so that should, nice. be, should be really cool. So, in closing, right. we're going to be ending up, up real soon. What what uh, what's going on with new? So we could expect the new right. record. You so have yeah, a so yet? we're working on the new record. Uh, you're, you're probably going to get that single. I don't know. Hopefully by the end of the year. You think? Yeah. So they, again, that was just a demo. The new one. Uh, Why don't you make it clear to the people I, that I, it was know, just a demo version? I, I don't know. I, I feel like I have to because I've been hounded well, every day on Facebook. Play yeah, it again. We, did, we did release uh, Thunderdog <laughs> That's a couple right. months yeah, ago. Yeah, we released Thunderdog last year. So we were able to get one in, song yeah. out. Yeah, I in, think we got yeah. that in, here. So we're, we're moving at a good pace. Because we an album every two years. Right. And well, that's how bands usually do it these days. Now it's three years. I know. Yeah. We did in lieu of in. I remember when bands used to release two albums per year. Per year, yeah. but instead yeah. we did live from the studio. Ten yeah. episodes of live from the studio. Yeah, you were on one of them. Yes, and go to YouTube and well, check that out. Well, that's the cool out. thing. You got a lot and of. And then we put out a single, Thunderdog. Yeah. And, and now, just so you're gonna have to wait another year to get the next album. Right on. Well, yeah, it's just, a there's a lot been going on. You know, we did some festivals throughout the country that yeah. take some time, and and we had to break these guys in. So right. there's. And when did you do all the is, excuses? Uh, when was Rocklahoma? Were you a part of Rocklahoma? I was not part That's of Rocklahoma, yeah. nope. I was at the Missouri Big Ass Festival. Yeah. <laughs> the tick, big the tick No festival. Chick, All Tick Festival. <laughs> yeah. Was they it Big Ass? They replaced the chicks with ticks. They replaced the chicks yeah. with ticks. And, uh, that's yeah. no lie. We all got Lyme disease that. coming home. Such a great We were finding ticks for weeks. This is why it's taking us so long. Very unfortunate places. We've all got Lyme disease now. Well, there you go. Well, Mark, anything in closing, Mark? We haven't heard a word from you. Yeah, come on, Mark. Just happy to be here today, hanging out. Thanks for all your support support to all our fans and everybody out there and thanks to bob because yeah you know, bob thank you for having us you know, having us yeah, on the thanks, show bob. today really, uh, thank you bob big Mitchin. hand for bob, bob. Yeah. Yeah. i think we might have some Mitchin. new snoo here this is the last single you did right huh? did you put on thunderdog yep Can oh, you it thunder yeah, yeah. yeah there we go 
closing off the show here. Why don't you give your uh, website before we close off? Snewu.com. S N E W. Y O U dot com or look us up on uh, you know Facebook. We've got the Snoo World Order group on Facebook. Right? Yeah, I think we got that page. Snoo World Order. Uh, yes. and just got come over there. there, join the group, harass us, and we'll. Uh, Thank you to all the callers too. Also <laughs> Facebook yeah, and, and their YouTube there. page, right? Snoo. And yeah, the YouTube Snoo channel Snoo where you can find uh, live from the studio all ten episodes of that. And you can check out the uh, last uh, rock, uh, the little festival you did. Yeah, last week. Snoo World, World Order. Order. That's it. There you go. So thanks again for tuning in to the Inside Metal Show with the guys in Snoo. Thanks again, Bob. T-Radio B. Thank, Thank you, Bobo. Uncle All Bobo. All self-contained. Yes, I love it, man. Thank you. More bands should do what these guys are doing, man. Let's try what hanging out at T-Radio V. With we do Bobo. what we want. <laughs> T-Radio T- T- V Snoo Inside Metal. Snoo Inside we'll see you next week. You are watching T-Radio V, Radio MTV.